Hi everyone, so today I'm going to make a video about how to clean your nose piercing. So, this is just a video for people that are thinking of getting their nose done, or not sure, an easy simple way to clean it, but um, some information you need to know if you are planning on getting it done is you should clean it twice every day, once in the morning and once at night, and it's really important to keep your piercings clean regardless, but um, yeah, so this is a simple way to clean it. This is what I've been doing. So I'm not actually going to do it because I just did it a while ago, but I feel like I'm bored, so I'm going to make this video. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a, a cup, a spoon, some sea salt, um, some Q-tips, and some soap. So what I do, though, oh, and if you want to be extra clean, just some hand sanitizer. So, what I've been doing is I've been using this anti-back foaming soap to clean out my cup before I make the solution. So what you do is you just fill it up with like hot water, swish in a little bit of the soap, clean the spoon off as well, and that just makes sure everything is clean inside and spoons clean and all that. So, I just use this soap, since I don't really like washing my hands with it, just to clean the cup it's a foaming one, I don't know, and so what you want to do after you clean the cup, um, I fill it up with about, mm, about halfway maybe with uh, hot water because you really don't want to waste water, It's you're not going to use a lot of it, and then um, I wash my hands with uh, antibacterial deep cleaning hand soap, so that's what I use for my hands before I clean my piercing. And you want to make sure your hands are clean because you do not want to touch a piercing with dirty hands. So yeah, so after you've done washed your hands and you have your cup filled about halfway with hot water, you're going to take your sea salt and, I don't know, you want to put probably about a quarter of the teaspoon you're using filled with soap and then you're going to mix it up, mix it in until the sea salt is all dissolved and the consistency I guess well I don't recommend tasting it but apparently it's supposed to be like like a tear like if you've ever tasted your tears before I guess but I don't know so it's supposed to be like that <clears throat> and what you want to do with that after you've done uh, washing your hands and making your solution I usually put on some hand sanitizer um, I have a lot of this stuff, but I recommend if you have, like, the stuff from Bath and Body Works and that's all you have, like me, um, use the ones with, like, the little, uh, exfoliating balls and do not use the one with the glitter in it because I have a lot of these glittery, glittery, glittery ones and I have a lot of these ones with the exfoliating balls in them, but, so I just recommend using these ones because I don't think you'd want glitter all over your face or your piercing when you're cleaning it so what you want to do after you're done cleansing your hands the final time is you want to dip your q-tip into the solution swish it around a bit make sure it's saturated and you just want to kind of go around and clean your piercing up I don't want to like touch my piercing at all right now because it's pretty clean but you want to Rip, rub around your nose a few times, rub around the ring if you have a ring in, and uh, move the ring around, make sure you got all the crusties off. No matter how clean your piercing, you keep your piercing after you pierce it, you are going to get crusties, which happens, it's just part of the healing process. Um, if you keep it super clean, that shouldn't happen anymore, so um, after you're done all that, you just... Um, you're pretty much done pierce or cleaning it and just make sure you get inside the nose too but yeah just make sure you get all the crusties and make sure it's just completely wiped off do not touch it try not to touch it after you're done cleaning your piercings um, because um, that just leads to more bacteria getting into the piercing even if your hands are clean afterwards you just shouldn't do that <laughs> until you're gonna clean it again with its healing, because I only got mine done last, no, no, not last night, but yesterday, and this is how I've been cleaning it so far, and it's been working pretty good, and I'm going to continue using the sea salt solution, because it's inexpensive, it 
it's cheap and also another alternative, um, I guess, is if you don't have sea salt or anything. Oh yeah, this is important. Use sea salt, don't use table salt. There's a difference. I don't know what is, but sea salt, use that. Don't use table salt. So when I was looking for something to clean my piercing rather than a sea salt solution, the lady told me to get Bactine, but they didn't have Bactine, so I just decided to pick up this dial soap because, um, I don't know, I haven't used it yet, but my brother told me to pick it up. And I assume if I were to clean my piercing with this, I'd, uh, get the hot water, I'd, like, maybe dip the Q-tip in the foaming soap and then, like, swish it around and maybe clean it like that, but make sure you rinse it well. I assume that will work pretty well, too, because it is antibacterial. Just, <clears throat> yeah, so that's about it. That's how I keep my piercing clean, and my cat wants to say hello. Aw, hi, Smokey. Say hi to YouTube. Oh, okay, come on. Don't be rude. This is my cat. He's cute. Okay, say bye. He, he's angry at me right now. That's okay. Bye! Bye!